Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. So glad that you could join today um, as we're walking through just getting in the Word of God. You know, the truth of Scripture is this. The more you know God, the more you love God. The more you love God, the more you want to know God. This is just a primer to help prime that pump. I've done quite a few funerals lately, and uh, at the graveside many times I will share Psalm 23. And in Psalm 23, 4, it says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. I, I counseled a guy one time who, who lost his wife of quite a few years in a horrible accident. Now, he was a committed Christian, um, loved his wife, loved Jesus, but he was still devastated, bewildered, angry deep down. Honestly, he didn't want to go on. It was hard seeing him hurt, but yet there was nothing anyone could do for him to take away that pain. Now, while not all of us experience the same tragedies of life, we can all relate to being hurt. We can all relate to rejection, uh, abuse, ridicule, disappointment, betrayal, fear, loss, sadness, bad choices. You know, that list is almost immeasurable. Nobody's immune from hurt. King David was the only man in the Bible called a man after God's own heart, yet he suffered hurt on so many levels. I mean, he was misunderstood and hunted down by King Saul. He was mocked and despised by his own wife. He was betrayed and hated by his own son. He was devastated by his own sin, rejected by the people who chose to follow Absalom, his son, instead of him. Without question, David spent lots of time in the dark valley of the shadow of death. But notice this. He walked through that valley. He didn't build a home there. He didn't curse not God and die there. He trusted God in the valley, and the Lord saw him through to the other side. Why? That, that's the question. Everybody wants to know when they're hurting. Why? Why am I hurting? Why did my wife walk out? Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Why all the dark valleys? Why all the hurts? Why all the storms of life? Well, to show us that God's more able to take the worst life can throw at us and turn it around for good. Adrian Rogers used to say, a faith that cannot be tested cannot be trusted. Our faith is not tested on the mountaintop. It's tested in the valley. People watch you in the valley to see if your Jesus really does make a difference. You and I will never have a better opportunity to show the manifest presence of Jesus Christ to a lost and dying world than when we're hurting if they can see a peace that passes understanding, if they can see a confidence that defies the circumstances, a joy that doesn't make sense, then they'll begin to see Jesus in you and me and what we have. You know, so what do you do? What do you do right now if you're hurting? No matter how bad you may be hurting today, do not give up. Do not give in to the temptation to curse God and die. Even though you may not feel it or understand it, the Lord really does love you. And he still has a wonderful plan. Nothing can come into your life first unless it filters through his fingers of love. So maybe do something radical. Thank him for the hurt. You say, okay, that, that, no way. Well, I mean it. Thank him for the hurt. Give it all to God so he can use it for good. Remember, he promises to never leave you nor forsake you in Hebrews 13, 5. He, he promises in Isaiah 61, 3 to give you beauty for ashes. So seek him each day for strength to go on. Remind him that he promised to be present in your valley. Ask him to see you through. He will do it if you do not quit. Well, that same guy who came to me those many years ago with a load of hurt, he came back to see me and uh, asked me to marry him and his fiance. God had brought a beautiful, godly lady into his life. She also lost her spouse unexpectedly. Both of them refused to live in the valley. They sought God through the hurts and the tears and the lonely dark nights, and God brought them through. And I promise you, he will do the same for you. He is a God who brings us through. He will not. It will not be immediate. It takes time to heal. But it will be sure as you simply depend upon him and say with Job, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Here's what I know. There is a light and a new life at the end of your dark valley. How do I know? Because he promised. Faithful is he who called you who also will do it. I'm praying for you today. And if you're one of those that are going through deep times of hurt, don't give up. Don't build a house in the valley. He's going to take you back up to the mountain. Father, in Jesus' name, 
Thank you for my friends. And Father, for those that are hurting, I pray, God, that you would give them strength for one more day and that they would understand the Lord is my shepherd that takes me through the valley. Even when I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil because you are with me. You're the one, Lord, who has traversed the valley before. And Father, for those of us that's not hurting right now, give us grace to deal with those that are so that, Lord, we can know how to be that comforting shoulder to cry on, that that listening ear, that friend. Thank you, God, that you always give us what we need when we need it so that we can become more like your son, Jesus. It's in his name I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good day. Love God. Love one another. Now, go be salt and light.